Hey guys, it's Jason here. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're enjoying a, a great holiday season, potentially, and hopefully a little bit of downtime with you and your uh, loved ones. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to talk today about um, the offseason, but one particular team that's been standing out pretty uh, significantly. My last video, I talked about the Mets and the move that they made and, and how it, it affects uh, with Dylan Batances and how it affects their bullpen and, and pitching uh rotation and if you happen to want to take a look at that if you're a Mets fan especially take a look in the description down below and you'll see the video right in there the link to it and you'll see uh, a couple of other videos that I will uh, be attaching as well so and before I go over the details of what the White Sox have done so far <laughs> and I let the cat out the bag those White Sox <laughs> um, um, if you have not if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please do so if you're new to this channel Please, you know, please click that subscribe button, particularly if you enjoy the videos. Um, and please click the thumbs up down there if you like the content as well. The more likes the videos get and the more subscribers the channel gets, the more YouTube starts to filter it through its algorithm and it recommends it on other people's feeds. And my goal is to create a much bigger um, community and um, to reach out to as many baseball fans as possible, particularly since... We're kind of the, you know, the 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 pseudo GMs. We you know we put on as soon as the season's over, we're wondering what our teams are going to do. We love our teams, and we're talking with people. And, and you know, we were always watching MLB Network or looking on the internet, MLBTradeRumors.com or whatever it is. We're the ones that pack the stands. You know, uh, we're the ones that buy the subscriptions to watch our teams. We buy the merch. And we we spend a lot of money on baseball, in one way or another. So this channel is from a diehard fan for the diehard fan and that's exactly what I you know what I that's my motivation when I put out these videos it's for you guys and gals okay I think you know it's 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 important for us to have a voice as a, as a fan community and um, you know you never know you know a GM might take a look at one of these videos one day take a look at our comments and our dialogue and get an idea um, you know crazier things have happened but um, either way I hope you enjoy this these videos and uh, please continue to watch them. And again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you have a channel of your own and you subscribe, let me know in the comments down below. Um, and I will be sure to uh, give you a shout out and point out, you know, your 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 name and your who you are in your channel as well, so that other, other people can take a look at your channel. It's my way of saying thank you. And obviously, thank you. And I love you guys for my regular viewers and supporters. You guys and gals are the best. So. Now that I've already let the cat out of the bag, let's talk about the Chicago White Sox. To me, they're the clear-cut clear cut leader right now or winner of the 2019-2020 offseason. Um, a lot of teams have gotten better, obviously. And I'm really happy to see that the teams under 500 are kind of making moves to get out, maybe potentially over 500 and can, can be more competitive. So it's it's uh, with the record revenues in Major League Baseball um, and with players not getting any cheaper, um, it's just refreshing to see um, more and more teams kind of making moves. And even if they're incremental moves, I say this in a lot of my other, other videos, teams that make a bunch of incremental moves, you know, do get better. You know, it's not only the ones that bring in superstars. People bring in four or five or six solid players. You can get better in a significant way. And the Marlins have done it, and a bunch of other teams have done it as well this offseason. So um, the New York Mets have done it as well. Under the radar kind of stealth moves. But um, my focus today is the Chicago White Sox. Um, they are a, a an AL Central team. You know, they have been they haven't been really competing. Um, with the at the twin at the level of the Twins and the Indians over the last couple of years, but what they've done this off season to me puts them right in the top for potentially you know winning that division. Okay, so let's go over the five significant moves that they've made. Okay, number one, they retained their top offensive player Jose Abreu. He accepted their qualifying offer, and then they tacked on two more years as an extension for 2021 and 2022. That would have been very tough offense to replace. Okay, and a first baseman. Number two, they brought in the top offensive catcher, free agent catcher in the market. Here's Monty Grandal for a four-year deal at around $72, $73 million. But it's not only his offense, he's also one of the better game callers. So he's going to affect Lucas Giolito. He's going to help these guys. He's going to help the young starters and the young relievers and the new people that they brought in as well. So it's going to have a ripple effect. Um, and that was a great signing that they did. Okay, Number three... They brought in starter, veteran starter Gio Gonzalez on a one-year deal. Not a sexy move, 
but he throws innings. You know, you can come out and throw 160, 170, 180 innings, put his team in, you know, in a position to win most of the time. So um, if they can get that, that type of production out of him, that's a good signing, and it's a low-risk one-year deal. I think it's $5 million. It's not like 20, $23 million or some craziness. So I think it, it's a move that could pay off. Number four, another starter, um, Dallas Keuchel, former Cy Young Award winner with a lot of playoff um, a lot of playoff experience, got a championship, um, and he's another guy that comes out and throws 170, 180, upwards of 200 innings per season. So they brought in two guys. Uh, two veterans that can complement their young guys in the rotation. And uh, they also have a pitcher, I think, coming back from Tommy John surgery, so they'll be easing him back into the into the fold as well. But they've really improved their uh, their their rotation. So, and I mean, the Minnesota Twins have as well. So the Texas Rangers significantly in the West, but the, uh, the Chicago White Sox have taken a really well-balanced approach. And with that, the number five signing, which happened yesterday or the day before, they brought in Edwin Encarnacion, another offensive player. You know, you got a regular 30 home run, almost 90 to 100 RBI guy every single season, okay, to a one-year deal with an option for 2021. So they added three significant, well, they retained one, and they added two significant offensive players, and then they brought in two more starters for their rotation, okay, which gives them depth, also can take the load off the bullpen, okay, and help complement the young starters. You know, good veteran presence is in there. And I don't think they're done yet. I think they might bring in a reliever. Um, and there's also talk about them potentially going after either Nicholas Castellanos or Yasso Puig. If you add one of those guys to the offense you, with the other guys that they have there already, that's a legit offense. I would be afraid to pitch to those guys. Um, so kudos to the Chicago White Sox for being bold this offseason and doing making these moves. They're really serious about getting better and competing in the American League. And... Um, you know, I give them a lot of credit for that. I give a credit to a lot of the other teams who have spent the money and have taken the risk and taken chances to get better as well. But the White Sox deserve special recognition right now. Like I said, just like the other teams, I don't think they're done. You know, there's another move or so in them uh, before the season starts, and we're only halfway through the off season. So uh, I am impressed right now. To me, they're the clear-cut winner of this off season. Um, that said. I will post a video, I, I, and I'll put a video in, in the description down below. I put a video on my 2020 division leader or winner predictions for every division in both leagues before these winter meetings and free agent start uh, signings began. I'm going to do one like in January or February right before spring training to see which teams made make the big moves or makes make the biggest moves. And I, I guarantee the Chicago White Sox is going to be one of them. And then we can compare the first video to the next to see who uh, potentially made the biggest improvements. And then... But then, again, putting it on paper is different. They have to deliver. They have to perform on the field. So it'll be interesting to see how they progress from video one to video two to the actual season. Um, that's what makes baseball so fascinating, so enjoyable. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, keep an eye out for my next video, which will be – I'll be going over the next round of free agent signings. I do one of those a week because uh, a bunch of guys are starting to sign now. So just to keep you up, up, uh, up to date on everything. And take a look at my other videos, and please share these on you know, my channel and, and, and all the videos with people that you know that are baseball friends, baseball fans, family, friends, whoever. Um, I want to know what they think as well. If you have any recommendations or suggestions of a video that you'd like for me to make, put it in the comments down below. I'd be happy to accommodate. Um, any comments you put down below in general, I respond to. So like I said, I want to have a healthy dialogue with all the other baseball fans. To my regulars, thank you guys and gals. You're the best. Um... And again, I hope you enjoyed this. Please click that thumbs up and please click that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Hope you're enjoying a wonderful holiday season. Let's root for our teams. Enjoy good health and a happy new year. I'll talk to you next time.